Being faithful to Jesus, what have you achieved? If you do something wrong to me, I'll do the same thing back to you maybe 10 times. Per month, how much is it generating for you? They generate approximately 2,000 euro each house. Okay. How do you invest your money? Mm, a bit of bitcoins, something like that, like Dogecoin. It's better now to buy some gold and silver. Being a business owner, how much can we make in your position? I generated more than 150k. Could be 40 plus. That, between 7 to 35,000. How do you feel being a wife of six-figure earner he's, husband? He's a uh, he's stingy. <laughs> what do you mean? He doesn't like to spend money. Save, save. I like spending. Lots of money. Yeah. Hello, your name, age, and what do you do for a living? My name is Elena. My age, I'm not like revealing my age. Okay, <laughs> 35? Uh, a, big, a bit older, okay. but it's okay. Okay, 25 okay. years. Thank so, you, thank what you. What do you do for a living? I'm a doctor. Now, how did you start with that career? Well, it's it was like more than 20 years ago. I just decided I have to be a doctor. Right. Uh, being in your position, how much can we make per year? I ha didn't have an answer. You are hiding? Yes. Is it six figures? I'm not just answering these questions. On the Give us a range. <laughs> no. Not exact amount, but a range. No, 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 no. You could Google it. I can Google it, anesthetologist, how much they make in Malta. Well, yes, you could Google it. Ah, okay, in this Malta, is 170k. Work, uh, in Malta, I work like a uh, lecturer in MCAST. Ah, okay, I'm lecturing in physiology. Mm -hmm. So definitely she's six figures. Okay. How do you invest your money? Well, I just spend my money. Just spending? Yes, I don't know if I'm going to be alive tomorrow or the day after tomorrow, so... You don't have any investment? No, just a couple of like stocks, whatever, mm -hmm. like NVIDIA or whatever, that's uh, not besides, relevant. Besides NVIDIA, what stocks you are investing? By the way, NVIDIA is hitting up uh, Apple, I guess. Uh, well, nothing more, just a bit of Bitcoins, something mm -hmm. like that, like Dogecoin. People in their 20s, if they want to start a career in, in your area, what advice you would give to them? To be perseverant, nothing more. Just do it every day, bit mm -hmm. by bit. Don't give up. Being a doctor, is it a secure career? Well, it's not secure, but you, because you're always under the pressure. I mean, it's, you're very close to like burned out, always, mm -hmm. always. It's like very, I would say, challenging in case of like interpersonal relationship. Mm -hmm. It's very challenging in case of your resilience, like in case of your uh, psychological health. So you have to be ready to work under the pressure all your mm -hmm. life. And you have to study all your life. It's so worth you, of you, your time. You, you can't stop ever. If you love it, if you have passion for it, yes, mm -hmm. it works. If you don't have passion, you won't survive in this field. Thank you very much for your answer. And thank you for your job. <laughs> Good luck on your career. Your name, age, and where are you from? My name is Anna Maria. I'm from Germany. I am 44. What do you do for a living? I work at a bank in Germany, in Frankfurt am Main, in the financial city. That's great. And we are interviewing people in finance. We need a lot of advice from you. So, people in their early age, they want to have their financial freedom. What should they do? What should they now? Oh, there are lots of things. First of all, I would like to recommend to have a good uh, study. So it's important to be educated, to be uh, well informed in a business. In a, in the case, uh, it would be nice to to know in every part of the life. But if they want to be a millionaire to have their own financial freedom journey, how they can be? Uh, it's a good question. <laughs> I'm asking that question from a millionaire who yes. works in a bank in Germany. That's why we need your advice. Go ahead, please. Unfortunately, I'm not a millionaire, but I'm on the way. <laughs> and I hope one day I will be a millionaire. And uh, it's most important not to be an a millionaire, but it's most important to know how you invest your, gay, uh, your money and how to use your money for the good life. How do you invest your money? Uh, I would say it's a private question. It's a little bit secret. <laughs> do you have another question for me, maybe? No, no, no. I, I'm sticking to that question. How do you invest your money? Oh. Go ahead, please. <laughs> um. How many properties do you have in Germany? You are really directly. Yeah, I yeah. don't know you. I know where you are investing your money in Germany. <laughs> yes. So how many Airbnb you have in Germany? 
in student cities? You cannot escape from this question. Yeah, I can, I can. Go I can ahead. escape from every question. Mm -hmm. But you choose to give answer for us. So as a financial industry person, give us financial investment. So how do you invest your money? How we can also invest our money? Where to invest our money? There are also possibilities. So I can tell you about, of course, it's an action. Yes, I think it's a good one. Uh, I mean, What's the action? Maybe the stock market. Could yes, be. yes, you are quite right. Oh, yes. Yeah. Invest on stock market. Yes. And what else? It's better now to buy some gold and mm -hmm. silver. I don't know about bitcoins um, because some people say it's a good idea, some people say it's a bad idea. If you believe it, if you risk it, no risk, no, no fun, no pay, no gain, you know it. So, should we believe in bank? to invest our money or to save our money in a bank? I think so, yes. Mm -hmm. It's a good time now and in the future, in the past. Of course there are risks, but of course there are pros and cons, advantages and disadvantages, but it's our life. So you choose to invest your money in a bank also or no? Yes. All right. So in your own bank or <laughs> you don't believe in your bank? I believe in my bank. Oh, yeah. Are you married or single? I'm married. For I have two children. I love my husband. It's right. every night. Everything is nice. Great. And course. now I'm making here my English course. I have been studying English to be better, to be smarter, to make more money also. Yes, of course, of course. After learning English, what will you do or how it will help you to make more money? So I work at a bank and uh, I need my English language. It will be better because I will have uh, less money to do my job, to, to be better in my job. It's nice to, to have a contact with um, another bank. So I work at an international company and I have uh, every day to deal with uh, international banks. So you will change your position to make no, no, more no, than no. six-figure income? I like income. my position, I like my position. We have the possibility to go upstairs to make a better career. Well, uh, thank you very much for your great advice and sharing information, half and half. Yes, you're welcome. It was nice to meet you. Hello, your name, age, and where are you from? Um, I'm Annie, I'm from Dubai, I'm 35 years old. What do you do for work? I own a travel consultancy company and I can pretty much work from anywhere in the world and I chose Malta. <laughs> wow, that's great. So what do you mean when you say the travel agency? Uh, it's not a travel agency. It's basically helping people from the United States travel to Europe and kind of making customized itineraries for them, planning their entire stay. Most people spend hours of research mm -hmm. on Google. Instead of that, I do that part for you. You are walking Google. At least in the travel sector, <laughs> not everywhere else. <laughs> wow. So what you know that we don't know? Things are going to get even more expensive in 2025. <laughs> so we have to travel as soon as possible? Yes, exactly. So is it a promotional that 2025 everything will be expensive? Just travel as soon as possible. Contact her. Yeah? Yes, <laughs> if that's what you look at it, my visiting card right there. Yeah, that's great. So how long you are operating that business? It's been about seven years now. Is it a profitable business? Pre-pandemic, it wasn't that profitable, mm -hmm. but I feel that the pandemic has really helped the travel industry because all of a sudden there's like a surge. People realize when they were locked up at home for so long that life's short and we should make the most of it. Being a business owner, how much can we make in your position? It depends. I have, to be very honest, I have good months and bad months. Mm -hmm. I would say now summer is a very good time because a lot of uh, Americans want to travel to Italy, Sicily, Switzerland, those are the packages that, you know, work the most. And then when December comes, it's a bit slow. What's the most amount of money you ever generated in a single year? I can't, I can't, I tax. <laughs> no, no uh, when, I, when I was working from Miami, uh, I got a lot of clients and customers from there. Mm -hmm. And there was, I think, summer 2022 was... I generated more than 150k. Yeah. It was like a per year, yeah. only one year you yeah. made one. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Wow, that's great. So, do you realize that how did you make it that six figure in a one time? Yeah, I think um, the most important thing is to have repeat clients, people who trust you, who you've already worked with, and they want to work with you again. I think it's all about human relationships. Right. If you can define good interpersonal relationships, then any business can work. Great. And you are more than seven years in the in business. What yeah. is the secret of longevity? 
activity you are still in the business because a lot of business going um, out after I would say three five years it is uh, not giving up because mm-hmm. they're going to be days like in December business gets so slow that you're almost like should I start doing something else and um, you got to be persistent and just be like no summer's gonna come and as long as you make enough in summer to sustain yourself for winter it's all good how do you invest your money I am very bad with investing everybody today is doing cryptocurrency and all of that everybody I know has their money diversified in different funds but I have nothing <laughs> nothing you, you just spend or you save I make sure that I have a 60 40 denomination mm-hmm. so every time I earn I put 60% of that into just being happy and you know doing things that I love and a 40% I put aside for a rainy day <laughs> Uh, only for the saving, not investing for any assets, yeah? Yeah. I have nothing. I just have a bank, something that gives me, you know, returns. I get a good mm. profit back. So I dump my money there and I keep getting returns on that. Wow. Yeah. Do you believe in banks? I am old-fashioned, yeah. I do believe in banks. But I know that it is going to become very irrelevant very soon. Yeah. 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 Great. And what is your biggest splurge in a lifetime? You just spend in a one time and you throw that... Buying a home. Buying a home. Yeah. Uh, for it sure. was for yourself for or for renting? For me. Oh, yeah. For me. So in... I bought a house in back in Dubai because mm-hmm. I thought uh, the Dubai market had crashed at that point and uh, things were so cheap at that point. That same apartment would cost me at least 10x more now. Yeah, I bought it and I get Airbnb rental out of that and I'm here and I get enough from there. So. From your point of view, can anyone be a millionaire? In Malta? Generally, <laughs> like, not in Malta. If you have any experience in Malta, you just shut yeah, it out. I, I'm not too sure about Malta, but uh, rest of the world, yeah. I, I, I have friends who've gone in the last five years from a job, a regular job, mm-hmm. to millionaires. And I think this is the boom. This is the time where everybody needs to kind of concentrate on what they're good at instead of what they're expected to do. You know? Aren't you a millionaire? Close. <laughs> <laughs> Close. Do you have any plan when you want to hit it? Yeah, soon, soon. Everything happens in due Great. course. Hello, your name, age and where are you from? My name is Dan. I'm 50 and I'm from London. I'm Natasha. I am 48 and I'm from London. What do you do for a living? Uh, I'm a nurse. How long? 17 years. Is it a profitable career? It's not a profitable one, but it is very, it's very challenging and very rewar- rewarding. And I think rewarding outweighs money any day for me. Okay, how about you? What do you do for a living? Yeah, I'm a bus driver. Bus driver? Yeah. Okay. For how long? I've been doing that for about 15 years now. Is it also not a profitable career? Um, it pays the bills, puts food on the table. So, you know, the main necessities that we need in life really, isn't it? To be able to put food on the table and pay the bills for the life that we're living anyway. What else is important besides putting a table or something? Living as well is most important. Showing love, being happy. Do you feel you're also successful? All degrees, what you weigh success has. Success could be measured in so many different things, can it? So yeah, I am successful in a way. Okay, what's a success for you? Success for me is just like I said, being being healthy as possible, being able to care care about people you love, show love to people that you care about, and you know. That's being, great. being alive and living through COVID and stuff like that, that's successful in itself. That's a good point. So being in your position as a nurse, how yeah. much can we make in the UK? It depends what band, because you get paid 50 grand, 45 grand a year, I guess. In How about you? Do you feel yourself successful or what is success for you? Uh, success for me, again, as, as Dan said, that can come in many different forms. I'm a mum of two. My kids are really bright. They've got manners. What can I say? I think I've brought them up really well and oh, yeah. I'm a successful mum. I think I'm a successful nurse because I think I'm pretty good at my job as well. That's great. How about you being in your position? How much can we make per year? Anything between, I think they say, from the advertisements I recently seen, maybe about 35 upwards. So it depends how much time you're willing to put into it. Could be 40 plus. You're great. How do you invest your money? I can't tell everyone that. I will, that's a bit, <laughs> I'll keep that private. That's private. But yeah, you definitely have to invest your money. Definitely have to. How long do you have been married? Uh, three years. That's great. So, <laughs> in your opinion, what keeps relationship longer? Um, communication, that telling the truth, <laughs> that kind of thing. Being honest, mm-hmm. honesty, communication. So, the, the question is, if you had a chance to go 20 years ago or in your 20s, for how much money would you trade for that? Money can't, no, I wouldn't want to do that. No? That's just part of me, who I am. That's, I wouldn't be this person I am today if it wasn't for everything that's happened from then to now. So, mm-hmm. if to say that means that you're regretting certain parts of your life and we go through all we go through bad stuff in life but it's not that you regret you kind of learn from them and try and better yourself at the end of the day it's nice to think about when you was 20 and where you are now and 
it's all good, man. It's part of the journey of life, isn't it? Yeah. You want to go no, back in time. Trick question. So, can you go back to your 20s and have all the knowledge that you have now? Yeah. Uh, let's say <laughs> yes. <laughs> with your, this knowledge. Your been wiped. <laughs> no, no, no. If you go with the same mind what you had in your 20s, it will be the same. But with your mindset right now, what do you yeah. have? Yeah. For how much money would you trade for going back? Uh, no, I, I, I wouldn't. There wasn't any amount of money that I could. Mm -hmm. change to go back yeah. thank you very much for joining us <laughs> good luck welcome. hello your name age and where are you from my name is Lubeli Shenube. i'm from zimbabwe and i'm 29 years old wow that's great from zimbabwe to malta you came to live no for work all right that's great how about you uh, my name is Flora Fisher, 30, and I'm from Tanzania. Never been to those countries. What do you do for a living? I'm an auditor. I'm a medical doctor. So how long you are in the industry? I just started a month ago, actually. How many years you studied for that? Seven, six years, seven years. Does it worth it to study six, seven years? Absolutely. And also it pays off well? That's another matter. Yeah? Okay. Yeah. So. Being in your position as a medical doctor, how much can we make per year? This is speculation from my workplace. Mm -hmm. Around 27,000. Is that enough to live comfortably? No. 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 The great answer. It's Shut not. it out. It's not, so it's, it's not it enough. Means it doesn't work mm -hmm. to study seven years, then you will get 27,000. She realized this <laughs> right now. <laughs> Why did I study something? <laughs> well, it doesn't make sense, but then at the same time, I guess, they are stuff in medicine, like when you see your patients recover, mm -hmm. there is more value in that than the money. But then honestly, you need the money because it depends where you intend to go long term. Mm -hmm. And you need like to be able to be financially stable from the beginning until... That's a great answer, but yeah. patient's happiness pay your bills or no? It is in the sense that... Of course, my workplace pays me something mm -hmm. to keep me going. But at the same time, my belief, oh, I'm Christian, by the way. Okay. So I understand the fact that I'm here for a certain amount of time and for a particular purpose. And whatever I need, God will provide at the same time as my employer is paying me. Being faithful to Jesus, what have you achieved? Everything. It changes how I relate with people mm -hmm. because naturally, I'll say in the carnal mind, if you do something wrong to me, I'll do the same thing back to you maybe 10 times. But now I know that I don't have to do that. Secondly, I understand the fact that in as much as our financial stability would mean I myself and I have to be happy. But then beyond that, wherever you are, there are people who need your help too. So you're not just living for yourself. You understand that you have to help your neighbor. Thirdly, I think there are certain things, given our age range, that you worry about your family, what comes next, where will I live and stuff. There is a rest, like an inner rest in the sense that well, when we read our Bible, it says he has plans for our futures. When I believe that personally by faith, I understand that whatever I need or desire, he will supply. So I don't have to worry about, oh, I'm making this much money. It won't be enough for this. It won't be enough for that. Why, why should I worry? Then if yeah. I worry, then I'm stressed. In your position, yeah. being a financial auditor, yeah. how much can we make per year? I would say from 27,000 to 30,000 when you just come in. As you go, it progresses. So it depends uh, what position you are at that moment. So, But when you start afresh, it's usually around that 27 to 35,000. 27, 30,000? 30, yeah, 230. How many years experience do you have? Well, I mean, total have five years. This is my fifth year as an auditor. So I just came to Malta like um, seven months ago. Do you have education? Yes, I do. Is it a university degree? Uh, yes, it's a university degree and also some um, qualifications apart mm -hmm. from that. What the best piece of financial advice you would give to us? I think from my perspective, when you're young, take risks mm -hmm. as much as you can because that's where you'll understand your mistakes. Maybe from my perspective, I'm an auditor. So if you don't like audit as your journey, try something else. Find where you, your purpose is. Mm -hmm. Do all these um, kind of take risks, mistakes. But at the end of the day, you need to know 
what you want at the end of the day. And then, like, ultimately, we all need that financial freedom. So you, you should save as much as you can, invest as much as you can, and ultimately, uh, just get do what makes you happy. How do you invest your money? Well, uh, there's so many platforms to invest your money. So there's some money markets you can invest in. You can also invest through the banks, but majority or most of the time we advise not to invest in the banks because of the interest rates that we have. So basically you can find maybe some treasury bonds, some treasury bills that you can actually um, invest and they have some good returns. Should we believe in banks or no? Well, the banks, are they have to make money, like a lot of money or even just get quite more than what's supposed to, like you'd find that the bank rates are way too high. Okay, just give, I give an example of you're investing your money, right? As uh, you're going to deposit your money as an, and then someone else comes to borrow that money at a very high um, rate and yet they're charging you interest rate. They are giving you back is probably 3%. Maybe you do a fixed um, deposit account. Mm -hmm. So you're only getting 3%. But then if someone is coming to borrow money from the bank, you're paying 20% or even more. So isn't that a scam? <laughs> well, so you just have to invest um, wisely, mm -hmm. um, get your footing on these um, investment ventures that you can have, stock markets and all that. So do your research. It's great. Thank yeah. you very much for yeah. sharing. And at yeah. the end, believing in Jesus and reading Bible, what is the best piece of advice you learned from the book or from your life experience you will share with us? I would say you can't do it in your own house alone. I believe some people say, oh yeah, I can read the Bible alone. But trust me, there is power in community because then you are able to be under someone's leadership who is able to guide you mm -hmm. because it's not just simple text. There is revelation in that text when you read it with, with understanding. So yes, find a Bible-believing community, have a relationship with God, not just knowing Him. And you know that you do literally everything. You just ask him for direction. Even, Lord, what am I going to eat for breakfast? He's going to tell you, trust me. What, am I, what do I need to wear? How do I need to handle this person? My colleague who is difficult, my family member. How do we handle this situation? He will send someone to give an answer. So you're never alone with him. Great. <laughs> What do you do for a living? So I'm a bar manager. Mm -hmm. I've been doing this job for eight years. And it's quite a nice paid job here in Malta. And uh, is it like a high-end restaurant or club? It's a Barracuda or? rooftop. It's mm -hmm. a deluxe lounge, which we have nice customers, pretty nice hotels, very nice place. Being in your position, how much money can we make? Per month, overall, up around 2,600 euros, mm -hmm. which is a good one for here. Per year, it will go approximately 30,000 profitable. Like net. How do you invest your money? To be honest, I'm having a family soon. Basically saving money for my new child who's coming. For now, no investment. I invest back in my country. In Albania, because I'm from Albania. Okay, well nice. And you have some properties there? Yes, I have two, three, two, two, three properties. One is in the beach and two are in the capital city of Tirana. Per month, how much is it generating for you? But usually by Airbnb, they generate approximately 2,000 euro each house. The one in the, in the, the beach, Per month, approximately 3,000, 3,500. May I ask a question? Because your two properties generating more money than your full-time job. But yeah. what keeps you motivated for working full-time in a bar? You have to work hard. I'm in a young age. I have to make as much money as I can. As I told you, I'm expecting a family. Most probably I'm going to get some properties in Malta as well. Mm -hmm. A house. Maybe I'm going to invest around the Xira, Slima area with Airbnb because I've seen a lot of friends who invest and, and they earn a lot. People in their 20s, they want to be financially free. Them, what advice you would give to them? Work hard. Be very disciplined. You should be very f well focused in life. And you should not be rushed on decision because when you're young, you make a lot of mistakes. But by those mistakes, you can learn. But work hard is the main priority. Find what you do best and uh, keep going and follow your dream. Well, when you say work hard, but people working in a McDonald's full-time job and working hard can be like successful in that job also. If you are well disciplined, if you are well disciplined, you can upgrade into a supervisor, into a manager, step by step. If you are into the hospitality industry, for sure you're gonna make a quite quite a good money. Thank you very much. Thank Great you advice. Well. Enjoy you. your time. Hello, your name, age, and where are you from? I'm Amina, and I'm nearly 50 in January, and I'm from the UK, London. Hi, I'm Faye, and I just had my birthday. Happy uh, birthday. Thank you. 
and um, I work in public service. You are also from the UK? Yes, London. All right, great. For how long you are working in that position? It's been two years. You are new in the yeah. industry, yeah? Yeah, yeah. But before that, what were you doing? Oh, before that, I was working in counterterrorism. Was it? It's like extremism, terrorism. Okay. So helping people be safe. I think, stop the video here. Yeah. <laughs> it's something. <laughs> no, I'm joking. So, and uh, how about you? What do you do for the I work for London Underground. And I've been working there for the last 20 years. But what keeps you working there? Do the you money. love your job? The, I love my job. I love the money. I think the money is important. I love, on I love the free travel. So being in your position, working in underground the UK, how much can we make per year? You can make up to about 80k. Oh, are you happy with that? I'm not on that yet, but oh. I can make up to that. I'm on good money. Great compensation, actually. How about you, being in your position, how much can we make per year? Well, you can make as much as you want. It all depends on your ambition and your goal. If you want to progress, you can make good money. Yeah. Oh, so you are hiding something. Is it six-figure income right now? No, no, no. No? I'm not a director. Six-figure? Six-figure. My husband. Oh, how do you feel? He works for the overground. How do you feel being a wife of six-figure earner he's, husband? He's a... He's stingy. <laughs> what do you mean? He doesn't like to spend money. Save, save for rainy day. Mm -hmm. You like spending? I like spending. I like spending. Lots of money. Yeah. But you like spending his yeah. money or your money? My own money. Uh, your husband also? No, I'm single. You are single? Yeah. Well, nice. So, why you are still single? I'm divorced. Happy for you? Yeah, thank uh, you. Yeah. <laughs> what, what happened? We had a good time. Mm -hmm. And now it's time to move on. You like moving on because you changed your career also. I, I used to, I've changed my career so many times. Oh, yeah. I was uh, a teacher before and I was a teacher for many years. I like change mm -hmm. and it's good to change because it keeps you learning and progressing and developing. Because if you stay in one place, your credibility and your asset diminish mm -hmm. because your unique selling point is gone. Yeah. So you have to keep moving to be on the market and be available and doing new things. Makes so, sense. Yeah. But what is your dream job? To be a writer. Well, oh. you are good at it. I think fear is stopping me. Why? There's always something, isn't there? There's always something. Uh, speak but out. I will get there. I will do it. That's my goal and I'm going to get there. She'll watch this video yeah. and realize, wow, I did it. Yeah. I was successful in the end. Yes. Follow my channel, watch after a couple of days. You will be famous also. <laughs> All right, I hope so. We yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, but see. how do you invest your money? Oh, that's, that's telling you now, isn't it? We can't tell you that. <laughs> in London, mm -hmm. shares. What, what type of shares, what com companies? Well, there's a company in Oxford that you can invest in and mm -hmm. they put the money everywhere, but right. then you get like dividends back. For younger kids who want to start in that career, what advice you would give to them? Go and speak to my husband. <laughs> he's a financial advisor as well. Mm -hmm. As well. So he tells, yeah, he's very good, very good. So how long have you been married, you said? How long have I been married? Yeah. Happily. Happily. <laughs> 25 years? No, tw 22. 22. But together, 25. Okay. What keeps relationship longer? Trust, communication. Making sure you have that love as a family because we do a lot of things together. Family time. Always have family time. Saturday, weekend, is family time. He's here in Malta right now? Only because he started a six-figure job. Okay. Last, this is the first last trip week. First here. trip, he's not yeah. come with us. So he chose money because no, no, it's no. six-figure. <laughs> no, he didn't choose money. He just got this job recently, so he couldn't take the leave. So, yeah, we said. Uh, okay. um, this girl has to tra have three holidays a year. Thank you very much for your oh, great you. question, answers. Yo guys, that's it basically. I'm definitely sure you enjoyed with this episode too. Again, a quick reminder. Recently I joined a YouTube partnership program. That means you will see a lot from behind the scene how this process is going on just for joining to members only community. Don't forget, today's video sponsor is you as always. Hit the like and subscribe button. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.